So what we have here uh, is an apple scratter I built. Um, most of my videos have been about making stuff in my oven, uh, but in the fall I like to do some apple cider for the kids and for us. Maybe a little hard cider now and then. Um, so this is a scratter I built. It'll catch the pulped apples down there. Uh, it's got a one horse uh, Craftsman motor on it with uh, just a little pulley system. A uh, little flywheel I made, a little chute that runs down. This is just a pusher for the apples. And then down in there, we can get a good shot of it. Is a rolling pin with all kinds of wood screws sticking out of it. You can see it just pulse the motor here a little bit. And that spins around, the apples go down, and they come shooting out the bottom. Uh, and it works great. And, uh, we'll get it running, we'll get it in action. And then over here is my press. So it's just a 4x4 a four four frame with some 2x6s on the top. And this is just an old stainless steel pot. Uh, I had the, so a welder take a plasma gun and just shoot holes through it uh, to press it out. Runs down the pan through those little holes, and then we'll have it go through a strainer into a little bowl on the bottom. Uh, I just used my jack from my truck for the pressure, and it works pretty good. I mean, we're not making 100 gallons of cider, you know, a fall, but we'll make a few gallons, and uh, nothing like fresh cider. So we'll get it all running in action and give it a look. So I'm just going to turn it on. Start throwing some apples in. Pretty much to chew them up just as fast as you can put them in there. You can see, it just destroys them. Nothing very big makes it through. And then we'll get them in the hopper and we'll press them out. So I'll just take the bucket of chewed up apples, dump it in the press. So, and then we'll get the top on it. You can see it's already running out without any, even any weight on it. I've got a little press plate here that I made out of oak. And then it's going to run out. It's going to run right into this little hopper here with the, just a piece of felt in it to strain it out. We can see how much is coming out already. And it will take the whole thing. Uh, when we do it later, we'll fill it right up. Alright, so we got this set up. So i got a 4x4 spacer in there, a couple 2x4s. And as the jack, if it gets too far out, I would just take the jack out, put another couple 2x4s in there, put the jack back in, and press it. I still haven't uh, even put any pressure on it. And it's running right out, looking pretty good. So, put this in, start cracking. It ends up being about a cup of cider per pound of apples. That's pretty awesome. It's working good. And, uh, you know, from here we can make hard cider if we want to, if we want to let it ferment. Or uh, we can just drink it fresh. Or if we're going to save it for a while, I'll uh, heat it to about 165 and then can it. And it keeps, keeps quite a long time. Thanks for checking it out.